Hi guys! Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Elle and this channel is all about being stylish on a budget where basically I'll be sharing my love of fashion especially for handbags, clothing, styling, shopping, product reviews, a lot of things and basically everything is on a budget. So if you like this kind of video, do consider to join the family by subscribing to my channel and also do follow me on my Instagram. And guys, in today's video, I still want to talk about Birkin stock. Yes, in my previous video, I shared with you guys my new pair of Birkin stock, the Arizona sandals. And today, I'm going to share with you guys another one, Birkenstock Arizona uh, in white color. This one is authentic and this one is not. So what is the difference? Let's check it out and let's get into the video. And before we start guys, disclaimer, this video is only for entertainment and education purposes i just want to share the knowledge with you guys and i am not promoting you guys to buy the non-authentic working stock therefore i am not going to share any seller's details in this channel and i am so sorry for that guys first of all guys let's talk about the box these boxes okay so this one is the authentic one and this one is the non-authentic one. But what do you guys think? Are they look similar? Okay, I'm not so sure um how it looks like on camera, but this one is actually um the the color is more to royal blue and this one is a little bit like dull and faded to my opinion. And of course both of these boxes already beaten up because this one um being sent to me all the way from china and yeah this one is from zalora and guys how did i stumble across upon this um non-authentic broken stock okay when i was you know like searching for the perfect broken stock for me I was thinking to get, you know, like the one that I able to find from Zalora as well as the one that available from the Shopee, like that listed under Shopee mall because by that I know that all of the items that being sold under the Shopee mall are authentic. So um, I was looking up, um, you know, like the broken stock available on Shopee as well to see um, which one is giving a better deals and apparently I went for the one um, that being sold on Zalora because they were having like better you know like offer so I saw this because this one when you look for Birkenstock all the you know like sellers or whatever being listed on Shopee will come out so I was shocked because actually there are a few sellers on Shopee selling Birkenstock at a very like cheaper price this one their selling price is really like low I got it at only around 75 ringgit but for the upper side of the sandal is made from Birkenstock or synthetic I will show the sandals um, shortly but yeah so um, let me show you the details on these two boxes so this is how the label on the authentic one and this is um, how the label looks like um, on the not authentic one so next guys I will show you the new Arizona sandals that I got so this time I got it in white color because why not um, it looks really beautiful and before I point out all the differences between this with the authentic one let me give you you know like the look of it so I will show you the unknown one okay 
So just like the uh, authentic one, it comes with this tag as well, showing you the materials of this sandal, which is the apple is made from synthetic. And of course, for the lining or the insole is made from leather. And the footbed is made from cork and the outsole is made from EVA. So let me show you the details. And first of all, guys, I'm so sorry because my nails look so gross at this moment because actually I just um, took off my um, false nails and I am giving it like a few days rest before I put on some gel nail polish. We will see, but at this point of time, they look so gross and I'm so sorry for that. Okay, anyways, this is how the footbed looks like cup over here stated um sorry stated the uh, size in 37 with the foot length of 250 i i ordered the one in 37 because i know my size is um 37 in Birkins, for working stuff so it's stated here made in germany and this one has the leather logo over here okay and this is how the the um, outsole looks like still with the bird stated there and the buckle is in the classic buckle with the Birkenstock engraved over there so at one glance it just looks similar with the authentic one and the non-authentic one so what are the differences first of all guys i would like to talk about the foot bed and I will show you the difference between these two sandals based on the footpad. And I'm so sorry guys, you're going to hear a lot of, you know, like other sounds other than me in this video. And I'm so sorry for that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, the color of the suede lining for this footpad is lighter and this one is darker. Um, the size of the footpad. But I said um, for the Birkenstock, I, my size is 37, which is equals to 240 um, millimeters um, foot length. And this um, non-authentic one also, you know, like really follow their size. So I took um, the size 37 and it fits me perfectly just like this one. However, when it comes to the width, this one is a little bit bigger. And for the real one, it's a little bit narrow. And actually, for this one, guys, this is just the regular footbed, not for the narrow feet. But this one is much, not really so much, but a little bit wider than the authentic one if you guys can see and next is the cup the heel cup there is a difference between these two this one is more deeper but this one is not but at one glance they look the same but this one is deeper but this one is not so when you wear them guys you really can feel the difference so from the cup side until to the front this one is deeper but this one is not okay okay guys the next one is the outsole of these sandals okay both of these sandals also you can see the bird on both of these outsole of these sandals. Hopefully you guys can see that. And the other one is like this. Yes. But you guys can see the difference between these two. Okay, this one guys, the size of the 
where it spoke as well as the lines the lines over here a little bit wider but this one is a little bit smaller or narrow let me put it side by side and I hope you guys can see it. You guys can see it. And the next one is the upper of the sandals. So this one is made from leather and this one is not. But I'm not going to, you know, like, point out the difference between the material for the upper because I do not have the one that made from broken floor or synthetic um, on the authentic one so first the difference is the inner part of the sandals okay guys for the authentic one you can see the details over here it is nicely cut and went all the way to the back, like this part of the sandals. And for the Birkenstock brand, it is embossed nicely and it is at the bottom of the footband, like this one. And guys, as for the non-authentic one, it is of course nicely done, but it is cut on this part so you can see this is how the non-authentic and this is how the authentic looks like and for the Birkenstock brands it is a little bit bigger even to me it is actually nicely done but it is at the upper of the foot back not at the lower part of the footbed just like the you know like authentic one so you can see that this one is not authentic and guys right now is the buckle so as you guys know this one is from the classic um arizona sandal and this one is a little bit wider and this is how the non-authentic one looks like. A little bit smaller or narrow. But actually guys, the Birkenstock over here is really nicely done. Really good actually. <laughs> I am quite impressed um, for that art. So guys, here is how it looks like side by side. You can see the non-authentic is smaller and the authentic one is wider in terms of the buckle hole it is bigger for the authentic one and it is smaller for the non-authentic one so this is how it looks like side by side and guys since the buckle for the authentic one is bigger the strap is bigger than the non-authentic one so you can see the holes over here is smaller than the authentic one so guys is it really worth it to get the non-authentic sandals at less than 100 ringgit personally no because why after I see all the differences with the, you know like between the non-authentic and the authentic one they are you know like now I can really spot the non-authentic working stock and if you just want to try out you know the sandals the style there are more brands available out there that selling the similar style and you can you know like go for that instead because you can find a lot of similar sandals cheaper than this one and since this sandal is one of the orthopedic 
type of sandals. I really cannot say much about this sandal whether it is really serving the same purposes or not. But I don't really regret buying this and I'm going to enjoy these sandals as much as I could because at least now I know what is the difference between the non-authentic and the authentic one. Personally, it is okay to invest a little bit more to get the authentic one because the differences between the price is not that crazy because at least this one, the selling price is not more than 1,000 ringgit, so it is okay. If this one is like cost me around more than 1,000, I think it is worth it to get this one instead. But the differences um, on the selling price is not that huge. So I think it is better to invest a little bit more if you really want to have the real and enjoy the, you know, like the real Birkenstock sandals. Okay guys, that will be all for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Join the family if you haven't by subscribing to my channel and follow me on my Instagram. And guys, last but not least, I wish you all a good health. Stay safe. God bless you all. Love you guys a lot. See you again next time. Bye, guys.